Today is March 3rd, 2023. So, in life, you're going to come up against situations that require you to have faith and to have courage and to push through extreme sources of difficulty. I watched a movie today while I was in the hyperbaric chamber called Invincible, and it's about this uh, regular average Joe type type of guy who uh, became a walk-on for the Philadelphia Eagles, and it was a good movie. But one of the things I noticed is that the main character, uh, Vincent, he doubted himself a lot at first. So the Philadelphia Eagles were hosting this tryout, and he was good at football, and all of his friends were encouraging him to go uh, try out for the Eagles at this tryout. And he sort of reluctantly did it. Um, but you could tell that he didn't have confidence that it would actually happen. You would hear him saying things like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll probably make it through this round, but I'll be cut pretty soon. Or, you know, this is just some sort of pipe dream thing. I'll be back working at this uh, bar the next week. Or, you know, he you could hear him saying all these things that showed that he doubted himself. And it was good for him that he at least went and he continued because that's, that's what fortitude is. Fortitude is having courage even when things are difficult, even when you're scared, even when you don't think anything's going to work out, you still go and you do the thing anyways. And you continue and you persevere even in pain and suffering and rejection and all of those things. So that's like taking up your cross daily and following Jesus. He, he tells us to do that. He says to take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow him. And so that takes fortitude. Um, but there's still that aspect of doubting that things are going to work out that can be a problem because you tend to self-sabotage when that happens. You think, oh, you know what? This isn't going to work. You know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying my best, but because you hold that belief in your head that this thing isn't going to work, you actually act in a way as to reinforce that belief because it's harder to change the belief than to fail. And so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and you self-sabotage. And I've dealt with this for huge portions of my life in a lot of different areas. When I was in middle school, I was bullied severely and it caused me to doubt whether I could do anything. Even when I was actually really good at something, I, I saw myself as less than other people or, or not that good or the, I just had all of this self doubt. And I think I had fortitude, so I was able to keep going even though I had this doubt, but it made it really difficult. I was fighting this uphill battle all the time. And something that can help us get through these um, 
periods of doubt. Well, let me rephrase that. Instead of having these periods of doubt and doubting that things are possible and doubting that things are going to work out, that's where faith comes in. Because if you have faith, specifically faith in God, because that's ultimately where any power we have comes from. But if we have that faith, we can do anything. Paul says in his letter to the Philippians in chapter 4, I think, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this isn't saying like, you can just go jump off a building and fly or something like that. That's not what he's saying. He's talking about perseverance and fortitude in that passage. He's talking about being able to endure difficulty and suffering and being able to thrive when things are going well. And so that's that's a good definition of fortitude. And so we see that faith and fortitude are very closely linked together. And in today's society, there's no value for virtues like these anymore. It used to be that the goal of a human life was to be the most virtuous person. And now it's just progress for the sake of progress, but we don't know where we're progressing and it's, it's a mess. But if we can start to have this desire to develop virtue again in our lives and to pursue that virtue with faith. Because if you don't have faith, then it's not going to happen. But if you have faith, God will provide the strength and you will develop that fortitude and any of the other virtues. It all comes from faith in God because he's the source of all virtue and everything that is good. So that's something we really need today in this world. We need people, men and women of virtue who pursue God and faith and to can endure any type of situation and even thrive in those situations because of that faith. That's all I've got for today. Peace.